Many Hyundai models use a tire mobility kit in place of a spare tire. Kits like this are increasingly common. Eliminating the spare tire reduces weight and increases fuel economy. Using the kit is much easier than changing a tire, and it can temporarily repair small punctures. In the event of a flat tire, it's important to first turn on your hazards, then pull over in a safe location to assess the tire. Next, check the tire. Can you find the puncture itself? If the puncture is larger than a quarter inch or six millimeters in diameter, or it's on the sidewall, the tire mobility kit will not be able to help. Large punctures cannot be repaired by the kit, and sidewall punctures are not repairable by any means. Hyundai Roadside Assistance is the best and safest option in this instance. In addition, if you can find the puncture and the reason for the puncture is still in the tire, don't take it out. Next, remove the kit from the rear of the vehicle. Here are the components of the kit. A speed restriction label to be affixed to your steering wheel once the kit has been used. The sealant bottle. The filling hose that connects the sealant bottle to the tire. A compressor to pump sealant and air into the tire. The compressor's housing for the sealant bottle. The cable that connects the compressor to the car's power outlet. A gauge to display tire pressure. And a button to reduce tire pressure if necessary. Here's how to use the kit to seal a puncture. Shake the sealant bottle. Screw the compressor hose onto the sealant bottle. Insert the sealant bottle into the compressor housing. Make sure the bottle is upright. Unscrew the valve cap on the flat tire. Screw the other end of the sealant bottle's filling hose onto the valve. Make sure the compressor's power is switched off. Plug the compressor's power cord into the vehicle's power outlet. Start your vehicle if you switched it off. Switch the compressor on and let it run for five to seven minutes. Do not run the compressor for more than seven minutes as it may overheat. If after seven minutes, the tire has not reached at least 29 PSI on the compressor gauge and is maintaining pressure, then the puncture is too large to seal and roadside assistance must be called. Stay away from the tire while it is being filled. When complete, switch off the compressor. Unplug it from the vehicle's power outlet. Detach the filling hose from the inflated tire and the compressor's hose from the sealant bottle. Remove the speed restriction label from the sealant bottle and affix it to your steering wheel. Return the tire mobility kit to the rear of the vehicle. Immediately drive the vehicle four to six miles or for about 10 minutes at speeds between 12 and 50 miles per hour to evenly distribute the sealant in the tire. Then stop at a safe location to check tire inflation. Connect the compressor's hose directly to the valve of the inflated tire. Check the pressure gauge to see if the tire pressure is set to the pressure listed on the sticker in the doorframe. If the pressure is too high, press the button for reducing tire pressure until it is set. If the pressure is too low, make sure the compressor's power switch is off and plug its power cord into the vehicle's power outlet. Start your vehicle if you switched it off. Switch on the compressor. After approximately five seconds, switch the compressor off and check the pressure. If it is still too low, switch on the compressor for another five seconds. Repeat this process until the pressure is set. After the tire is properly sealed, you may cautiously drive the vehicle a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour in order to reach a Hyundai dealer or tire service station for repairs or replacement. It is possible that some tires, especially with larger punctures, cannot be properly sealed. Punctures larger than a quarter inch or six millimeters may not be sealable. And again, do not try to seal a tire with damage to its sidewall. For sidewall punctures and damage, call Hyundai Roadside Assistance. Also, remember that one sealant bottle may be used to seal one tire only.
you must replace the sealant bottle after use. Sealant bottles also have an expiration date and should be replaced before the date has passed. Replacement sealant bottles can be purchased at your Hyundai dealership. By following these instructions, you will be on your way with a minimum of inconvenience.